Happen is through curiosity on the Renvi show. Has your life ever been in danger? Uh, I used to live in the south central neighborhood because you can't do this work and live in Santa Monica. Number one, it's too far away. It will take you two hours to get there <laughs> with LA traffic. And second, you need to be with them. You need to be with them. That is what that was my realization. So I used to live in that neighborhood. And one day, like eleven o'clock, I finish my workshop. I uh, pull up all the yoga mats. I put it in my car, and I park my car in the parking lot of my apartment. and a uh, very big african american man is lying down <laughs> near the um, the entrance to my apartment building and i said sir um <laughs> i need to go <laughs> he said what the f- where do you have to go i said sir i live here see i have the key and he wasn't wearing a mask so that was those days i said sir where's your mask and he said f- bitch where's your mask and i didn't have a mask on and he pulled up a i thought it was a weapon so i just backed off it was a stone <laughs> and this was a 6 feet tall 300 pound person and uh, i was that day i was a little like Oh shit who did i provoke <laughs> and uh, he threw the rock at me but uh, he was drunk he was a homeless guy he was drunk so yeah you i i i think you when you do this type of work you you have to trust in the divine that you are doing this for some different purpose right so ask for divine protection as well yeah and so when i have come back to india now 4 years ago the friends that i grew up with when they look at my work they ask me who arranged it for you were you scared i was not scared even 0.001% can you talk about the nigeria story nigeria story i was a shell petroleum engineer and i had gone there uh, for a field assignment in a gas field i was a production engineer so i was looking at how do you increase the production of this gas um we finished a long day of work and uh, a mob of like 200 300 people run with uh, i don't know s- swords and trees and i was with one person from kuwait shell kuwait we just ran to our jeep scared to death like sh- <laughs> because i had never experienced this before and i had not done anything against that community i had just come to nigeria two days before so that was like close to feeling like i'm they are going to kill me <laughs> why were they attacking the uh, ah good question so then i researched uh, like what's happening so it happened to be in the niger delta and shell doesn't have a good reputation in the nigerian context and uh well again i'm not trying to defend shell because i also have friends in shell nigeria they are good people but usually what happens is uh, you know when you they are extracting it's called extractive sector so you are extracting the natural resources oil and gas from a community and the contract is given to you by the government for which you are paying tax but the tax money may not reach the people who are in the villages because of whatever third world developing country world issues systemic issues corruption etc etc how was it like visiting nigeria because i've heard all sorts of stories from a professional perspective and i have nigerian friends uh, who give me a very party oriented version of it it's a party place yeah. <laughs> but that's subject to the fact that you go around with them like you need you need nigerian friends to travel through nigeria uh, actually i was working for shell so i made several trips to nigeria over my career and uh, as soon as you land in lagos airport you are escorted by somebody in the nigerian military so uh, i have always gone with military protection because in those days uh, oil executives were kidnapped for ransom 
and uh, that's my ex- experience with my visits to nigeria is i'm seeing this country and uh, it feels like it's a social place it's poor place it felt like i was driving through dharavi if i can give you a like a similarity in what i was seeing and i'm taken to the compound a shell compound and uh, every shell staff that i was meeting my colleagues they were amazing human beings they were educated they were well read uh, they had a respect for india but the perception in america again i'm coming from the living experience in america is a poor country uh, uneducated people uh, and they are always conning people but that is not what i felt i found uh, these people to be really juicy very caring lot of family culture and uh, that is why i i mean i have many african nigerian friends i call them we are brothers from different mothers mm-hmm. because the values are the same yeah very similar to indian culture very similar very very similar very similar clothing social structure uh celebration uh and that is true for most of the african continent hey, if you enjoyed this clip from the ranveer show we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics so explore the channel because there's something for everyone